Hey everybody, uh, this is just going to be, <coughs> <coughs> let's try that again, ha, <sighs> hey everybody, uh, this is just going to be a quick little video until I have the energy to put together something more complete, uh, but I just wanted to let you know when and why I'm going to be, dun da 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 clearing out my entire Twitter history for this, uh, for this Topless Topics account, um, I have been wanting to do this for a while, but I was having issues with getting Twitter download archive uh, function to work. And even though I don't think I've done like any amazing, you know, super awesome tweets that are worth printing out and putting up on the wall or something, there's still, you know, I've been doing this, this, I, I checked it out and apparently I've been regularly posting to this account since 2015 and um, stuff has happened since then <laughs> and I don't know, I just, I kind of wanted to have some kind of record before I, I obliterated it from the internet, but now that I have that, although it was like two days ago, so, oh man, I'm going to lose all record of the last two days of tweets, how will, will I ever, how will the world ever recover? Um... I thought I'd go ahead and do that, and again, this is just going to be a short video, so I'm not going to go super into it, but essentially the reason I'm doing it is because this is a lot to try to get into in a short video. <laughs> Basically, uh, as I, I've said this before, so again, people that are watching this that have already seen the comments that are now going to be deleted, probably by the time you see this video, um, while I don't think that it, I, I obviously think it's kind of dumb to be like, oh, not, you know, deplatforming Nazis is cancel culture, it's cancel culture, uh, culture, yeah, run amok, blah, blah, blah. No, like, there's definitely people and things that should not have a platform. That being said, I do think that there is the issue on the internet of, well, one of the tweets that I'm going to delete that I thought was fairly profound, if I can say so myself, is in the world of the internet and especially on social media, the time that something is posted is the time that I, the viewer, first discover it, not when it was actually posted. And here's the thing. Everybody fucks up. Everybody is going to have a period in their life, possibly multiple periods, where they look at what they used to be and they don't like that person anymore. I don't have any specific memories that I'm like, oh God, I never want that to come out. But I do know, you know, I'm, I'm a, a person too. I've gone through, hopefully, hopefully I've evolved from where I was 5, 10, 15 years ago. Um, it doesn't help that for pretty much, I mean, yeah, for my whole life, I've been really into video games, you know, love, love video games, all kinds, blah, 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 except for sports, sports are boring. Um, <laughs> um, and unfortunately, even today, the gamer community or whatever is very, very toxic, is very racist and misogynistic and everything like that and while I don't think I ever went so far as to actually be making you know slurs like that I hope I didn't dear god I hope I didn't but I don't know because I hung out with terrible people at the time and so I just I I again I'll have to get into a small video it's not that I think that it it's better to pretend like if something if I did say something that I forgot about that it never happened, but I don't think that it's fair to look at somebody's really old content and act as if they just posted it. Um, I actually have an old video that well I have two old videos that if I can find a place to put my videos that don't get censored, um, kind of touch on this. One is in defense of James Gunn, and the other one is. I can't remember what it's called, but it's about Al Frankton and what happened with him or whatever. But basically what I'm more interested in is how does that person act now? You know, have they grown from it? Do they admit their wrongdoing? Do they use their platform if they have one to try to make amends to the group that was, you know, offended or harmed or whatever? Anyway, and the other part of it, <laughs> of why I'm deleting everything, uh, is... Those of you who follow me for a while know that I put a lot of my dirty laundry on the internet, and especially on Twitter, because I've been rejecting Facebook for a long time for more reasons than I have time to get into. But the thing about Twitter is when you're not famous, um, it's easy to forget how many eyeballs are on you. And because if you're only interacting with a couple of people, it's like, oh, only these people are saying it. But no, actually, a lot of people are saying it. And a lot of people can read this stuff from, you know, a long time ago. 
And when you're angry, you're going to say things that later you don't feel. And so there's definitely been times where I've been angry and I read the comments later that I said, and I'm just like, man, why was I such a bitch? You know, and I do, I don't want people that I talk to, you know, especially trying to do videos with them in the future to look at my old content and be like, wow, she's a nasty bitch. I don't want to work with her. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so that's, that's what's going to happen. And, um, hopefully you keep following me and I will also link to my other Twitter accounts that are going to be more like personal stuff. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Bye.